Hi, welcome to the third video for GirlDurham.com. Today I'm going to do a red lip stuff review, and I've got my um, sidekick Pluto here. He's going to try out some colors for us. Just kidding. Um, today is Monday, January 6, 2014. Probably the coldest day I remember of my life. My hands hurt so bad when I was outside getting my car ready for work. It was pretty crazy. Um, and explaining the look today is that it is the coldest day ever. It's a Monday. I got to work from home this morning before I went in this afternoon. So um, today's hair look is called Pantene probably Volumizing Shampoo with some Redken um, Endure Color Conditioner. Somehow those two make my hair really soft together. And then I sprayed in leave-in conditioner, combed it out, hopped on the couch, tried to get my work going from my personal laptop and didn't have a lot of luck. So I went in. But I checked my mail on the way to work and I found a product I'll be reviewing, um, which I'm now in love with. And then I've got a couple other reds to stack it up against and just kind of release my findings. Uh, the thing about a red lip is it's such a classic look and everyone can pull it off. I've got some friends that are really timid about makeup. In fact, most of my friends don't wear a ton of makeup and um, I get to share kind of my product findings with them. Um, maybe it's not necessarily that they don't wear a lot of makeup. Maybe they just have better things to spend their money on than I do, but um, I buy pretty nice lip products and that's what I'll be reviewing. And I think everyone should have one in their in their go-to bag. I think it's a good look. There's a color for everybody, whether it's an orangey undertone, a blue undertone, which will really brighten up your smile, like a good berry. Everyone can wear a berry red. And my personal favorite for going out is kind of like a black and cherry or a black and red. I think it's really sexy and vampy and makes me feel like a tough girl. So I'll be reviewing a handful of those colors. There's four product lines I'm going over today. Um, OCC, Obsessive Compulsive Cosmetics. I've got a couple of them. I've got a NARS product, a YSL, and the last one is from Lime Crime, which is a brand I'm not super familiar with other than the product I got, but I really like it. There's a lot of um, blog drama about it if you Google Lime Crime. I don't I didn't really read a bunch of it, but there's definitely some haters out there. I love the product, so that's kind of what matters to me. They don't test on animals, by the way. That would matter to me. None of these do. So, that said, let me jump into the first one. Um, this first red I have is from OCC. Hi, bud. He wants petted. Um, OCC Cosmetics. I actually have the red in the full size, and that's kind of what turned me on to it, but I also bought the um, Lip Tar All-Star Mini 4 set comes with a little brush. That's how it's applied. The colors I have that I'm not going to necessarily delve into too much right now are kind of a, hi bud, hi baby, a nude lightish pink. Um, it's a great color. I'm not big on a nude lip. If I'm going to wear a nude lip, it's lip balm, not like apply a light pink color. I think it comes across kind of Jersey Shore on me. It's just not, not really my look, but there is one. Um, I use it on my friends sometimes, and I have worn it out. I'll throw some pictures below the video of me in different lip looks, including a look like this, and then the different reds times I've worn it out, so you can see kind of how they photograph. So, first one first. Um, next is this awesome hot bright pink. I really do like it. Um, these have kind of a funny finish, though. They start pretty glossy, and then they end um, a little bit drying and you have to reapply. When you reapply, you just kind of patch up where it's missing. So you have to carry the little bag and the little brush with you. So these are a really high maintenance lip look. I think they're really attractive. I think they're a good product, but it's high maintenance. So not my favorite, but the colors are great. And that's why we're kind of starting with them. Um, next is the Blackened Doll, I think it's Black Dahlia is the name of it. Also from OCC. It looks really brown and weird and terrible here, but I wore it out on New Year's. Tons of compliments. It's a really um, violety, dark and purple red. I love it. I will wear it um, often and I'll put some pictures below so you can see how it photographs, but really cool color. And then for the pure red, this is what got me on OCC Cosmetics, like I said, the uh, full size tube. This is a really, really true cherry red. It's a really classic look. Um, the only drawback for these being they are high maintenance to apply. You have to use a little brush. You have to be very precise. It's a nightmare if you get it outside of your lip line and want to correct it. When you reapply, you have to patch it up, and then you want to put like a moisturizing coat on, like a lip balm or something. I've got a couple recommendations I'll talk about in the video too. So it's a really good red. It's called Lip Tar for a reason. It stays put really long. You just have to be ready to do some work with it to keep it looking good all night. Um, actually, I said I would do this my brain so now I'm doing it here's a little like streak of it on my hand if 
that'll give you a good indication of what kind of color this will be. So a really true deep kind of cherry red, maybe like a vintage 40 siren -y red, I think. I think it's really sexy. It's just a really high maintenance look. Um, similar in terms of maintenance, but a little bit different in terms of color, is the NARS Velvet Matte Lip Pencil in Cruella. Um, it's a little more of a darkened red. I think it's really hot. It's a great color, great product. Um, if you sharpen up the pencil, it's really easy to just slick it on. And um, maintenance, about the same. You have to reapply it every so often, but it's application-wise so much easier than the OCC Lip Tar. So I think that's a pretty cool product. Um, let me put a little streak on here so you can kind of see. Like I said, the OCC is a bit um, shiny. This is not. This is a matte lip pencil, which I really like. I think a matte lip is a kind of a sexy vintage look. So on the bottom, we've got OCC, a bit shiny. MAC, good color payoff, and um, more matte. The OCC kit, I think I paid like maybe 20 to 28 for all four, which is pretty cool. Um, this one alone, the MAC, or the NARS, I'm sorry, was 25 but I love it, and they have a ton of colors, and I've got a couple of friends converted. I, my friend Jamie wears a really pretty pink, and then my friend Alicia bought a less darkened red, but still kind of a berry red, and uh, they look great on both the gals, so I think this is a really good product. The next red, this one had a lot of hype. This is YSL Lip Varnish. Um, I already checked the tube. I don't know what color it is, but if you go to Sephora and look at the kiosk for YSL stuff, it's the most true red. Um... A little bit clunky of a tube in your bag, it'll take up a little more real estate, and the applicator is um, kind of big. I don't know. I like the little doe foot, maybe a little more precise, but what's cool about this is it goes on like a lip stain, so you just kind of have nude, slightly moisturized and exfoliated lips, so it can retain color well, but not necessarily like a lip liner or something like a lipstick. Um, so it goes where you want it, stays pretty put and it has a vinyl finish so it's actually shiny instead of like a couple of the products I've shown that are matte and the last one I'll show you is truly matte. This one's shiny but with staying power so if you're a shiny red lip kind of girl this is pretty awesome. Um, it's a pretty bright red. I'm going to slick some on here and you'll see that it's got definitely more of a vinyl finish. It's the top it's a little more brighter truer red. Um, all of these are pretty look at me I think lip, lip colors. I think that's a lot of fun. So here we go. So we've got OCC, kind of a deep true red, maybe a little patchy in the color payoff. So application, you know, uh, the NARS is a matte dark and red, easy application, big fan. YSL, shiny, bright, true red, easy application, um, but it will stay shiny. So if that's your look, this might be the product for you. I think this bad boy was like 20 to 30. Um, all of these are pretty high end products, but, um, I justify it by making this video. Yay. Alright, and the last one I'll talk to you about in terms of red is a brand that this is my first encounter with. Again, there's a lot of um, a lot of hype on the internet about Lime Crime as a brand. I don't know much about that. Um, I didn't look too far into it, but I had a really good ordering process. The site is simple. There's not that many products. I got the product really fast. The charges were right. I don't really... No complaints. It is... Uh, again, by Lime Crime. It had really cute packaging. I'll throw some pictures below of um, the packaging of it, too. And it is the Velveteens line, and this is Red Velvet, um, which is a really fitting name. They had a couple other Velveteens. They had a hot, hot pink, which I think would be fabulous. A matte hot pink would be really sexy and fun and flirty. And there's also a suede berry matte um, Velveteen, which is more of a, like, kind of a more wearable, maybe not neutral, but middle of the road from not the hot pink and the bright red it's just your lips but better and um, this product has a little doe foot which I like for precise application um, the wand looks pretty messy but it's not too bad it's not drippy and I'll put it on now and then show you first off the color payoff is the best of all of them in my mind look how you can't see any skin through it um, Try this lighting, see if that's any better. It's really shiny and wet looking right now, but it goes away. I put it on today at work at about two, and it was pure matte and looked really cool. Um, by like four, my lips felt dry, and I thought I would have like a crusty, nasty mess, like you know, when you put on a stain and your lips kind of dry out and it looks weird. I went to the bathroom and it looked great still. Um, I just kind of felt, you know, you could feel it drying up a little bit. So I slicked down a coat of. Um, Actually, I think I just used regular old chapstick, and that made my lips feel better, and it didn't um, 
mess with the color wearing or the payoff or anything. Like it didn't mess it up. I kissed a napkin right after I put it on and there wasn't much transfer. Um, I've read online that with the Lime Crime Velveteens, you have to use like an oil-based makeup remover to get it off, which I like because that just means less application throughout the night. But if you were to pack it in your purse when you go, it's a, it's a narrow tube. It's nothing. It wouldn't take up too much space, which I like. Um, so I would say that's definitely my favorite red in terms of application. I like the little doe foot. The color payoff is fantastic. Um, it's already starting to dry up a little bit and be a really good kind of vintage, sexy matte color. Look at all this lighting. Yeah. So those are pretty good reds. Um, definitely my favorite. It was $20. So of all the lines I've got here, I think this was the most affordable. 20 bucks on a lipstick is kind of foolish. But um, when you're trying to get a blog going or a single gal or whatever, you can justify it. And that's what I'm doing right now again with this video. Um, two recommendations, one brand for kind of a moisturizing top coat is Rosebud Salve by Smith's. I've had this one for a while. They come in tins. You'll see them at like Urban Outfitters in the tins, but I don't really like digging my finger into pots of product. I'd rather just put it on from an applicator. So this is just the regular Rosebud Salve by Smith's. Again, I've had it for a while, so it's getting a bit squishy, but um, they're really moisturizing without being goopy or oily or weird. Um, this is another version of it. It's Minted Rose Lip Salve, or I guess this one is Lip Balm. And this one is salve. Maybe they're a little bit different. I don't know. I actually got this one at Anthropology, um, but you can get them on Sephora. You can get them at Sephora. You can get them Anthropology or Burn Outfitters online. Um, it's kind of a cult favorite. Uh, if you're not used to it or you haven't seen it around, it's a good product. I'm a big fan. Pluto is being insane. So that is my red lip review. I am just a regular girl. Obviously, I don't have any beauty training or anything like that, but I get excited to try products and then um, mix it in with my obviously like high look and then kind of my low maintenance look. So that's what you guys got today. I hope everybody stayed warm. Um, it's freaking ridiculously cold. It's unusual and everybody's been talking about it, but I think it's I think it's worth mentioning here too. Okay, um, that's the red lip review. Look under the video for some pictures of different lip looks or makeup looks I've paired the lips with and um, the Lime Crime packaging, which is to die for adorable. And if you guys have any comments or questions, hit me up. Um, I get a fair amount of spam comments on the site, not from anybody real, but from like Chinese spam bots and they write it all in Chinese. I don't know what it says and there's like 3,000 comments I need to delete. So if you do have a comment, you could get it... Um, get at me on Facebook or Twitter or Instagram or Pinterest or you could email me girldurham.com at gmail.com and I'll be happy to tell you anything else I know about the products or link you out. I'll probably do that anyway on the post but I hope you gals are adventurous in 2014. If you don't wear red lipstick give it a shot. It looks really good on everybody. And if it's just way too damn fussy and you don't care um, I can tell you where I got my beanie and then we can be sisters in beanies okay. Alright, have a good night and stay warm everybody. Bye!